Good day. Welcome to another session with Guru Wanda. I am your host, Gurvinder Singh. It's always a good idea to start anything with a bit of humor. What is the difference between men and boys? The cost of their toys. What I mean to say is that uh, there is no difference between, there's not much difference between uh, children and adults. If one is observant and sensitive, learning can come from almost um, anywhere, even the most unusual of places. One of my most impactful behavioral, human behavioral lessons came from observing our children. Uh, in a sense, Adults are just overgrown children, except that they are more transparent, they are more vocal, and they are, they, they react instantaneously uh, to any, uh, any, any stimuli. So after returning from every trip, I would, uh, you know, I would bring some gifts from my children and, uh, well, the children came from school at different times. So the first son would get, the younger son would get a, a gift. He'd be delighted, he would hug me and kiss me and he would be very happy. And when my elder son Mohit came later on and I gave him the other gift, there was a fight because everybody, he was unhappy with what uh, the other guy got. They would quarrel and grumble almost endlessly and uh, cause all around tension uh, before eventually settling down. This taught me a very important lesson. People are not, we humans are not happy, merely happy with what we get. We are, in a sense, but we grow unhappy when we compare what somebody else has received. So I thought, what's the best way to go about it? I designed and instituted a, a reward system uh, based on their academic uh, performance and how they did their chores, how they performed their chores and uh, how they fulfilled their responsibilities. And it worked out pretty good. And to my surprise, I, uh, I noticed that uh, at work, uh, the same problem. When I promoted or rewarded employees, I always found that people were unhappy with what the other person got. And I asked myself, if it worked for my children, why can it not work for adults? So, earlier I would, uh, uh, you know, treat everybody as equal and everybody got the same thing, sharing the rewards equally. And surprisingly, this made no one happy. Then rewarding only some people uh, made uh, everyone unhappy. So I modified our organizational human resources practices, uh, instituting performance-based uh, rewards, rather than rewarding team members on a uniform or an ad hoc basis. Minimizing the weightage of uh, factors like behavior and personal relationships, we, we were we witnessed a remarkable uh, uh, and a positive change in performance from our team members. Now, appraisals can be either uh, objective, where we evaluate performance, or they can be subjective, where we evaluate personality and behavior. Objective appraisals uh, reveal who are performing and those who are not, and thus help to determine promotions and rewards. A bit of uh, a bit of a topic on uh, I mean a bit of explanation on the use of appraisals. Why are appraisals used? Well, appraisals are being are to be used by organizations, uh, while they also help individuals and even families. Uh, they help to clarify three things. They help to do three things: identify weaknesses in the individual, identify weaknesses in the organization, 
it's, it's important to note that often most of the non-performance of individuals can be attributed to weaknesses in the organization. Not permitting or not facilitating uh, the, uh, the best performance of people. And the third thing to do is identify possible uh, steps to be taken to improve the individual and the organization to become more effective. So effective appraisals uh, help assure uh, a meritocracy. That is where people are judged on their merit. Uh, recognizing merit helps motivate uh, employees. Uh, it can reduce the possibility of a it it reduces the possibility of a a, a good performer being ignored or a non-performer being unduly rewarded. Uh, an effective appraisal and reward system, which was transparent and fair, turbocharged our organization's performance, both for the individual and for the team. So as a result of our initiatives, uh, non-performers with the help of our organization usually succeeded in improving performance, whilst existing performers were motivated to excel. This is essential to develop high quality manpower, or employee power, and world class, uh, and develop a world class organization. Well, that's enough for me for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video, found it useful. If you did, please do not forget to press the like and share button, and please check your subscription to this channel. Uh, until I see you again on my channel, I wish you all the very best and please have a safe and good day. This is Gurvinder Singh signing off. Thank you.